I look like a Ghostbuster. All right, so I'll be up for my nap, but I wanted to show you the snow in Georgia. You see, it's been snowing all day. We got home just in time because, from my understanding, a tornado touched down in Florida and in Georgia because of the snow would have shut down and I'm not sure if our flight would have come. So good thing we caught that six o'clock flight, that 6 a.m. flight. All right, so let me go ahead and get on Dante's nerves about this um, bar cart and I'll check back in with y'all in just a second. Get out of here, I don't want to be on no Stop, you ready to get started? No. You ain't ready to get started? I'm out here starving. Don't say starving. Did you do something to get a dinner? Yeah. What? I drove on. Dude, that was nothing. Okay, so I'll cook for you once you get started on this bar cart. Started? Uh, I need food just to... Dude! You're the best. Act like, act like you happy. No. Act like you're happy. No. Act like you're happy. No. You need help? Yeah, it'd be nice. Okay. Why are you sliding this across my floor? Oh, I can't pick this up. Is that okay. Okay. Come on, try me. You need help. <laughs> What's in the help All right, so my Dante is in there figuring out the bar cart. He doesn't really like to be on camera, so I'm not gonna like invade his space. So anyway, I'm going to open the stuff that I bought in Key West, the stuff that I bought in Miami, and whatever else this is that came while I was gone. Um, this is not all home decor stuff, so if you're not interested, sorry. In Key West, we went to Kermit's. If you watched my video, you already know. And I got some key lime taffy. Got some key lime cookies. Two boxes of those and a bag of them. So, of course, you know, I got my grandbaby and I got... My girl so i had to try to get some stuff that i can share because you know how that goes you can go on vacation you got to bring other people's stuff and then i also got <clears throat> some new sandals because i love sandals and this is georgia so we wear them all the time these are cobain they are super super soft for like walking and I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. And they were originally, I think 99, but they were on sale for 40 bucks. And I was like, I was gonna buy them even if they were 99, but 40 bucks I couldn't beat any. So these are super, super comfortable. And then I bought these from the mall when we first got there from Tory Birch. So I get the emails like daily from Tory Burch as well as like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, all of, any, all those. So I that got this email probably like a couple days before vacation, like saying that they had these sandals, that they were just, they had just been released. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm in love. But I was like, well, I'm going on vacation. I can just see them in person just in case I don't like them then I can actually like not get them or if they're not comfortable, but they were, so let me show you. They are the Tory Burch bubble sandals. So they're all boxed up and this is them. 
You see the details? They come in like, I want to say two other colors, like black and like a salmon looking color. But this them. And when I tell you, I saw the email and they're supposed to be like super, super comfortable too. Like great for walking, but they are gorgeous and they go with like everything. So let me see how much I paid. They were not all that cheap, but they were not even too bad. They were $178. And I pay like $190.46 for tax. But they're Tory Birch and they are gorgeous. I just had to have them when I saw the email. I also was going to buy me a Gucci um, small mammoth purse, but I want the gray one or the red one. And they both look so good on, like, so good. Like, I don't know which one I want. They're like $1,490, $1,490. And I literally, the store, usually I go in the store and they don't have them. So when I went in the store and they had the gray and the red, I could not decide. I could not make up my mind. So I am going to like ponder it and then I'm going to buy it online. And I'm thinking maybe the red because it's Valentine's Day coming up. So, but once I buy it, you'll see. So the next store I went into was Perfumania. And I bought this Mercedes Benz perfume. I didn't even know Mercedes Benz made perfume. I didn't even know. Did you know? Because I didn't know. But when I tell you, it smells amazing. They have another one. It comes in a red box, but they smell good. And this was $89.95. And then I bought this um, Sofia Vergara. I have another Sofia Vergara perfume and it smells really, really good. So when I smelled this one, I also knew that I wanted this one as well. Um, the other one that I got was sent to me by accident and when I, you know, or whatever, but, and I was like, oh, this smells amazing. And this was a while ago. So then I got this one because like I said, it smells amazing. And it is uh, the Lost in Paradise. And it was $49.95. Okay, so if you know anything about Perfumania, they usually have sales. So what they do is they get you. They'll say, oh, if you spend over this amount of money, you can get one of these for 10 20 30 or whatever. They have categories. So in the categories, the $10 category, they had this Paris Hilton Dazzle. I haven't worn a Paris Hilton perfume in probably 15 years, maybe 20. I don't know, but this one smelled amazing and it was $10. So most likely I'll probably give it to my youngest daughter. But it smells amazing. So I also bought both of the girls like a hoodie from Key West, but I think it's still upstairs, but it's just a hoodie. You know, it's like one of those like touristy hoodies. So on to the next thing. All right, so I am in one of those like discount divas something or whatever book, I mean groups on Facebook where they give you codes all the time for like the buy stuff. And when I was on vacation or maybe the night before, they gave off a code for these pictures. And I think they end up being like 16 bucks for three. So, I don't know what they're going to look like, but they, yeah, they give you clothes for like Amazon and sometimes Walmart, but mostly Amazon. And these were like 50, 60% off. And I thought that they would look good above the bar cart. So because my, the bar cart is gray and then the little black accents in there, whatever. And then the blue is the accent color that joins the whole three rooms together it joins the like kitchen the dining room and it i mean the yeah the dining room and it's also going to join the living room together that's like that little hint of blue so i thought these would work above the bar cart and then this is number three and they were originally like 30 some bucks but then i got them for like i said 15 16 bucks for all three I don't know if they're gonna work, but we'll find out in just a little bit. I actually like them. Blue is my favorite color. So that's the reason why it's probably like the accent color for downstairs. Dante doesn't have a favorite color. So 
blue is mine. So we're gonna see how that works out once he's finished putting them together. All right, the last box that's in here, I wanna say this is just some stuff from Shein. It say JFK on it, so it gotta be. It gotta be from Shein. Who else would be sending me? Who else would I be getting some from? I always, all it is, it is Shein. It is Shein. Oh my goodness, I got so much stuff from Shein. One, two. This is like a whole haul right here, baby. What is that? Sweats. Look at this. I got so much. Okay, okay, Shein. Okay, so this is not a clothing haul. And I don't even know if y'all are interested in clothing hauls. So I am not going to do that because I don't want to bore y'all. I don't know what y'all is or what y'all not. So y'all let me know because I'm always there for a clothing haul because I always got them. I always got a clothing haul. So you let me know. I got y'all. So on my um, video, my vacation video, I ran out of time. My plan was to clean before I left. I did not get around to that. And Dante also did not put my vacuum together. So I think I'm going to do that now while he's... <laughs> I wish y'all could see his face. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to put the vacuum together so I can do some cleaning. And I guess, I, I guess I'm going to cook a little dinner while he's doing this. I guess. Yeah. I said what I said. I guess I'll put this thing He's very spicy, very. But anyway, I'm gonna put this vacuum together and then I'm going to cook him a little dinner and then I'll be back. Let's see how much progress he's made by then. Okay, I love quick assembly. This don't even have any nails. It should only take me five minutes. I look like a Ghostbuster. Ha! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Five minutes. Dante ain't even really got started. Who is the carpenter over here? I think it's me. Carpentry and vacuums aren't the same thing at all. Carpentry has something to do with what it's. So you're trying to say I'm not a good. You're saying I'm not a good carpenter. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Well, maybe I'm a good assembly person. You need some help? You need me to help you since I'm so good at this? Here's the finished results of the bar cart. It absolutely looks gorgeous and it matches the chairs perfectly. So now it's finally time to unbox the Bartesian. Whew. Okay, let me get it.
Okay, so as you can see, it comes with five drink jars. So you fill those up and each one tells you where it goes. So this says tequila and then it says tequila right there and whiskey, vodka, focus, focus, and gin and rum. And each jar tells you what goes in each one. which is pretty freaking awesome. All right, let me um, do some more setting up and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what it's looking like with the jars in there. And then I think you put water back here because you can also make a mocktail. You don't always have to have it with alcohol. So, and then you just open this up Put your little pot in there, close it back down, it comes on, tells you what to do. Now let's open up the capsules. So I got the classic collection and it comes with whiskey sour, margarita, old fashioned, Long Island iced tea, cosmopolitan and uptown rocks. Most of these I've never tasted, but we are gonna find out what they taste like tomorrow. I got this one, which is like just a bunch of Long Island iced teas because that's Dante's favorite drink. Even though I felt like he should have bought me some pods to go with this as a gift, but hey, I ain't gonna even complain. And then I got these Amaretto Sours because these are my favorite. And then I got the Poolside Vibes Collection with Rum Breeze, Ginger Peach, Iced tea, Mai Tais, and margarita again, because a sister loves her vacation in the Caribbean. So I can always pretend that's where I'm at when I make the drink. So I bought a runner to go over here on top of this bar cart so that um, because it's not like real wood, I didn't want the alcohol or liquids to mess up the top of this so i put a, i got a runner to put on top of it to see how that looks so let's give it a try and see if it looks okay if it don't then i don't know if you remember but i had bought these two containers to put um the pods in a couple weeks ago when i thought my bartesian was actually when i thought the bar cart was coming so this is what they look like has the little liquid in there see pretty cool oh they smell good Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. Let me step back. And then those are the pictures that I ordered from Amazon. I absolutely love them. I wish that you all could actually get the real, like what I'm seeing, but the colors are not coming through, but I really like those pictures. I'm thinking I'm gonna put them up. And then like I bought those from um, Ikea and my thought is to put these over here, one over here and then another one over there. And then I put my wine up there and then 
over in each corner, I'm thinking like some type of a tall vase or something decorative in each corner. I'm not sure if y'all can see my vibe, but or where I'm going with this. But I think I'm gonna try putting those pictures up and see if I like them um, and going from there. We'll see. Okay, so since I am not 100% sure that I like these pictures and that they're gonna be permanent or stay for a while, I don't wanna put holes in the wall. So I'm gonna be using these um, Velcro strips because I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to keep them. I don't know if I'm if I like them enough to keep them long term. But I want to see what they look like. I want to marinate on them for a few days. So for now, I'm going to just use these and then go from there. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so this is what it's looking like for tonight. Okay, so my plan was to actually make a drink tonight, but because of the freaking weather, I did not go to that liquor store. So we don't have any liquor. And I don't want a mocktail because these things too expensive to just be making some juice. So I will not be doing that. So hopefully tomorrow I can get out and go to the liquor store and get some alcohol. I couldn't stop this morning because I don't know if some of you all know, but in Georgia, you cannot buy alcohol on Sunday to after 12 o'clock. And it used to be where you couldn't buy alcohol at all on Sunday, but the laws changed. Long story short, I don't have any alcohol. Also, these wine racks did not come with any nails. And I don't know, I don't wanna stick them up with these like Velcro strips because alcohol is heavy and I don't want to waste it. So, or break anything. So I think that's all I have right now. I'm tired. I'm sure Dante is too. So I think that's it for tonight. See you tomorrow.